does the human being hate? If you look at around us within society today, you find that there are hate campaigns everywhere in the world. In the worlds of families, there are hate campaigns. In the world of communities, there are hate campaigns. In the world of politics, there are hate campaigns. Each and every one of us, at one stage or another in our life, has been a victim of a campaign of hate. The question psychologically is, why is a human being hated by another human being? As in, how many of you in life have wondered to yourself, why does this person hate me? As in, what is it that I've done wrong to them that's made them hate me so much? Psychologists have come out with three conclusions as to why it is that a human being shows hatred towards another. The first reason a human shows hatred to another is envy, no doubt. As in sometimes when you see another human being who's receiving praise constantly, receiving accolades regularly, people are always talking about the greatness of that personality, whether they be a male or a female, the human being sometimes looks at that and wonders to themselves, why is it that that person always receives the praise of the people? You find that the Holy Prophet would say, envy can be positive or it can be negative. The positive envy is called ghibta. The negative envy is called hasad. Positive envy is when I see a human being receiving accolades and I say, MashaAllah, look at what they have received. May Allah increase it for them and also give me of what they receive. Correct or no? That person looks at the issue positively. Negative envy is what? Why is it this person's praised all the time? I said, why is it that everywhere I go, that person in every book is receiving the praise? Why is it this person has wealth? Why is it this person has good looks? Why is it this person has children? Ya Allah, remove them of what they have. The human being from the very origin, envy has been the disease that made them cause hatred. If you look at Habil and Qabil, what was it that made Qabil kill Habil? What was it other than envy? The origin of the human being, when it comes to hatred, the first reason is envy. And many of us can be a victim to it. As in, there's no one in this hall who could turn around and say that I have not envied someone else. But the aim should be that I envy them positively, not negatively. I should envy them that when I see them wealthy, when I see them with children, when I see them happily married, I should turn around and say, Masha Allah, may Allah give them more. Not I turn around and say, Ya Allah, remove them from these virtues. And that's why the Imam himself mentions by saying, Envy devours faith like fire devours wood. Correct or no? Many can come to the mosque and say, I'm a man of Iman, I pray, I fast. That whole Iman is devoured if you are a person of hasad. And that's why in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very clearly that you should always say, وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا hasad." Ya Allah, protect me from the envy of the envious. Therefore, the first reason anyone is hated is because of envy. The second reason anyone is hated is because of what? It's because they say the truth in your face and don't stab you in the back. Correct or no? When you look at someone, the second reason they're hated is because they're not scared to say the truth, even if it means they lose their friends. Imam Amir al-Mu'min used to have a wonderful line. Do you know what he used to say? The truth has left me no friends. Correct or no? How many of us, when we don't say the truth, everyone loves us? Correct or no? Because they look at us and they say, this is not a man of principle. This person never says the truth. Always they're on the fence. You've heard the people in the community who are always on the fence. They, they say that food is good with Muawiyah and Salah is good with Ali. Correct or no? Those people are always on the fence. Never do they speak the truth. The second type of people who are hated is because they speak the truth. They don't care about the censoring of the censorers. When they see oppression, they don't remain silent. They stand up and they say, I don't care if you ridicule my family. You ridicule me. You take everything away from me. Haq is haq. Where I see the truth, I speak out. That person always has enemies and friends. When a person has enemies and friends, you know he's been a good human being. When a person only has friends, you know that that person has no principles at all. I guarantee you. If you see in your community someone, everyone praises him. No, that person's never had principles. All he does is sit with everyone, laugh with everyone and doesn't say anything. If you see someone in your community who some people rebuke and others love, then know that person's a person of principles. They're not scared to tell you. As Oscar Wilde used to say, a good friend stabs you in the front, not in the back. In your face, they'll tell you because they're not scared. But that person has hatred. Why? Because the powers that be don't like that person's frankness. They hate that person talking the truth. 
But the reality is, that's the second cause of hatred. The third cause of hatred is what? It's the ignorance of the society results in hatred. If a society has books of literature, doesn't question, doesn't reflect, doesn't contemplate, then that society is sheep, nothing more. All they do is take the book and carry it like the Quran says, the donkey carries luggage. They don't question, is this true? Is it true that Ali ibn Abi Talib is this or Ali ibn Abi Talib is that? No, whatever my father says, I follow. Whatever his father said, we follow. That builds ignorance, doesn't it? Because that person is not a human being anymore. Their thought process is stagnated. Instead of them sitting, instead of them reflecting, instead of them asking, you find them being human beings who just simply sit there and say, if my fathers believe this, then I believe this as well. Therefore, did these three apply to Ali ibn Abi Talib? No doubt. No doubt.